Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to perform Monte Carlo analysis in Embal software. So Monte Carlo is a stochastic or probabilistic method to estimate oil in place, gas in place, and reserve. All right, so there is Monte Carlo tool inside Embal, and hopefully we can learn about it in this video. All right, we are now inside Embal. We go to tool and we select Monte Carlo. Okay, then we go to options and reservoir fluid. We can select either oil, gas, or retrograde condensate. In this video, we will select oil and you can also input user information, company, field, location, platform, analyst, and you can type in your comments here. All right, and then we go to PVT section. We click the PVT, fleet properties. All right, now you can follow my data. Formation GOR, 820, standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel, oil gravity of 34 degrees IPI, and gas gravity 0 0.833, water salinity 140,000 ppm, with no H2S, CO2, or nitrogen, okay? If you have laboratory data, you can also do matching by clicking this one and provide your data in this table. All right, for simplicity, we will exclude this section. So we just need to input our fluid properties here. All right, and separator, single stage, Correlations for bubble point pressure, solution gas oil ratio, and oil formation volume factor, we will use standing correlation. And for oil viscosity, we will use Beck's et al. correlation. Okay, from here, so far so good. Now we go to input, distributions. Yeah, this is the main section. First, we go to statistics, number of cases, let's say, we will try 1,000 cases and histogram steps 20 and reservoir condition, the temperature 210 degrees Fahrenheit with reservoir pressure of 5,000 PSIG. And for the method, we can select either bulk volume multiplied by net to gross ratio or area multiplied by net thickness. All right, in this video, we will select this one area multiplied by net thickness and then distribution type this is the most important section of monte carlo simulation we have several parameters area thickness porosity oil saturation solution gor oil graffiti and gas graffiti with their corresponding distributions okay for area we select triangular for the distribution okay this is you can say the recommended distribution for each parameter for area we select triangular thickness triangular porosity normal oil saturation also normal solution gas ratio we can select fixed value because we are quite certain with our pvt data also, oil gravity and gas gravity, we can select fixed value because we are quite confident, we are quite certain with our PVT data or fluid properties data. All right. This also will minimize the iteration so that we can only concentrate ourselves only in area, thickness, porosity, and oil saturation, All right, because they have the highest uncertainty in our study or in our case, right? Okay, so let's say for the area, we have minimum, maximum, and the mode. For minimum, 3,000, maximum, 7,000, and mode, 5,000. The unit, of course, acres. Usually, we use acres. For thickness, minimum is 100 feet, maximum 200 feet, with mode 150 feet. For porosity, we use normal distribution. So the average value is 0.2, 20%. Uh, 
with standard deviation of 5%. Okay, and oil saturation, the average value is 0.7 with standard deviation of 0.1. All right, this is our case. So to obtain the oil in place value or gas in place value, we can easily calculate by clicking this button. Calculate. Yeah, this is our result actually. It's very fast, it's very simple, right? You can also click again, calculate, and you can see the result here, right? This is the summary of our results for the mean standard deviation, 90% probability, 50% probability, and 10% probability. Usually we will use 50% probability as our best estimate, all right? The 10% will be our optimistic case, 90% will be our pessimistic case. You can say that, all right? And then we click done, and to get the plot, we click plot, all right? You can see Monte Carlo plot, the vertical axis is expectation oil in fraction, and at the other side, relative frequency oil in fraction, and this is, of course, our oil in place in horizontal axis. All right, you can obtain the value for oil in place and for gas in place. Okay, so far so good. If you want to adjust the scale, you can click scales, edit, and you change based on your case. And to adjust the display, you can use this one. Yes, this is our result, finish. And again, to obtain the summary, you can just click this one, result, summary of results. All right, it's very easy, it's very simple. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Embal videos. Thank you.